Wait, hold it this way. I can do, what the heck? I can do the, no, I need it to be. <gasps> okay, wait, did I take two pieces? Okay, let's just take two pieces. Oh, wait, this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're like, uh, come on, let's just get, get going right now. What up, my guan et saying? First of all, it's Minna. Hi. <laughs> Hello. And secondly, we are going to be straightening my hair. Now I haven't done a solo hair video ever. <laughs> I've done hair and makeup. Have I done it? I don't know, girl, whatever, okay? We are straightening my hair today. Now I did film this look for IG, not for here. But if you're wondering, this lip is Blood Moon from Lime Crime. I'll link that below, okay? And this eye look, I mean, I would imagine it's pretty basic, but I'm sure you're like, what in the world? Okay, let's just get right into it. Now, I'm gonna flat iron my hair because I've been trying to figure out ways to make sure that this four by four wig stays nice and sleek. I've been having such a hard time doing it, but I stumbled across this awesome video on YouTube that we are going to watch together and we're going to copy what homegirl is doing and i'm just so amazed that i found it youtube can show you everything girl so this is not my technique i don't even know what i'm doing i just figure things out right we've discussed this before figure things out do your research and that's what i did and i found this out so okay so she has on a 13 by something wig a full lace front wig and I have a four by four. I keep it real simple and cute because I can't be doing all of that, okay? We ready to talk about this? I just have to keep it keep it a little basic. I've worn this several times. This hair in particular, where's it from? It's from AliExpress, grab a link it for you. I don't know, I have so many, I don't know what's what anymore. Okay, so I'ma just put her on. I used got to be for my edges and let me just hook this in. Normally I have two braids that go down that help it stay put, but I didn't do that today. I'm giving you a real basic way to put this wig on, okay? Oh my God. I need my two braids. Otherwise, the wig is sliding. <laughs> oh my god, it's sliding. Oh no, I already gave away my wig grips. Wow. Looks like I need to take my hair down and fix this. I need the hair to have the two braids so that this does not slide back. Oh no, because what we not gonna do is be sliding unless I lift. Okay, if I lift up, no, it's sliding. Okay, we, we can manage. Okay, because what I did was I lifted up the comb from being so stuck underneath. Because what it is, is if it's really tucked underneath your bun, I did a bun, I kept it real simple, then it's gonna be pulling back, okay? We're keeping this real easy and cute today, okay? Look at this. I can't. We'll, we'll do that in a second, okay? All right, let's watch and see what Caroline's talking about. Here are all the tools that I use to get my nice, straight, sleek hair. This is a hard brush that I use as a chaser with my flat iron. Got this from Walmart. Dirty. And just a regular degular detangling brush to detangle through the hair. And as products, I like to use this BioSilk Hair Serum. It adds moisture to the hair as well as making it nice and silky. And I also use this this Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum. I already like this serum because it helps with frizziness and it also adds shine and movement to the hair. And then the last product that I use for the hair is this Care Care Wax Styling Stick. This is a more of a finishing product. I use this at the end of my styling to kind of just make the hair look really nice and flat and sleek. And now for the obvious tools, my flat iron, which you know, this is just a, very, a basic flat iron. A hot comb, you always need a hot comb for anything you're using. If you're gonna be installing a wig frontal closure, you always need a hot comb. And then I have these jars where I have, I keep all my hair ties and scrunchies. I also use that cause I need to separate the hair and make it easier to work with. But now let's get into the actual straightening of the hair. Here's a look of me appreciating my work. Like baby, I slayed this. Look at this install. Okay? It looks good girl. Now I'm going in with a couple pumps of the Garnier um, serum and I'm, I like to use this one first before I put the bio. Now what I will say is I know I need to put some product right here. I I will do that at the end. Let's just get this together. Okay, okay wait, 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 wait. She's doing a couple of pumps. A couple pumps of the Garnier um, serum and I'm, I like to use this one first before I put the bio silk serum. I don't have a particular reason, it's just what I like to do. And then I'm making sure that I'm brushing the product. Okay, so she used a lot and I I normally, oh okay, this is for, this is anti-frizz serum for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair, instant sleek. Okay, good, couple of pumps, here we go. One, two, dang, that's a lot of product. But if she did it, obviously it worked, dang. That's a lot. Wow, okay. Clearly, I've been doing 
all of this all wrong all this time. Have you ever used this? Comment and let me know. Wow, it is already feeling pretty sleek, I have to say. Wow, the hair is like, <laughs> I've never put this much product. <laughs> I know this gonna come out good. Caroline gonna get me. Carolina, Carolyn, girl, which one is it? I should've called her first, huh? It's already looking good. It's giving real wet dog, you know? It's giving wet dog. Hold on. It's out completely. Oh, and then she brushed it. I want it. all of the hair to be saturated with this really nice nourishing serum. And I'm gonna go in with the Bio Silk Serum as well. Same routine. I buy the really small bottles in the Beast Wise store, and these are about like- Wow, yo, this feels mad wet. Like, it feels wrong, but I'm following Carolyn. Caroline, which one is it, baby? She said a few pumps of bio silk. Bless his name. I just took three pumps. Dang, let me get up top here, because I have neglect. Wow, this hair gonna smell good, though. And people commented and said that they follow her routine, and their hair was stayed, what, it stayed straight and did all these things, you know? It did all these amazing things. This is, well, let me get the ends. The ends be looking real stupid. I hate when the ends on straight hair looks dumb. Just straight up Baby, let me get right here in the front, baby. You know, it's a full, oh, not the wig slipping. Girl, we might need to take this wig off and put those braids in, yo, this is dumb. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna saturate both sides and take this off and fix these braids because this is not gonna be for me. You know what I'm saying? I can't be having this slipping going on today. Just, it's just not gonna be for me. What does she do? She did the next time. The bigger size of the serum is about, I believe, like $21 or they have like a half size for 12. But this little tiny serum bottle, like it lasts me a very long wait because you don't need too much. So yeah, $2 for this little tiny thing. And it is honestly holy grail. Like I love using this on my straight hair. It makes the hair super, super straight and silky and also helps prevent from frizz. But yeah, I'm just making sure that I'm saturating the hair completely and getting all of it from root to tip. Okay, root to tip. All right, yeah, 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 I gotta go to it. All right, girl, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit shy, but okay, I mean, if, if you, if you want, if I must, hold on. To go in with my blow dryer. Wait, 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 wait. Tubo, 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 we'll go speed, it's a thing. So, here we go, root to tip like she said. I was, I was being a little bit uh, considerate with the roots. Let me, let me go back because I wasn't getting a root. Wow, this is laying down way better than before. It was giving real uh, yakky. Let me get the back, you know, and really get that and get the ends. That's what I neglected on the other side. Wow. <laughs> This looks like when I get my soap press and on day three, how my hair be looking. Real dumb, you know? <laughs> okay, now I need to put some of the hair serum on this side, right? Yeah, I didn't do this side yet. This feels so wrong. All of it feels wrong, but I trust you, Carolyn. Caroline, Carolyn, girl. I don't know which one it is, okay? But I trust you. Mm. The wig is slipping, but I trust you. <laughs> Let me take this off and fix it. Cause I hate, I hate what's happening. Hang on a second. <laughs> All right, now as far as this bun is concerned back here, I'm not trying, it, it doesn't matter. I've already co-washed my hair, which means washing it with conditioner. Now I recently learned how to just go this way when I cornrow my hair. So here we go, just get it down because when the combs stick into a braid, oh, it's not gonna slip back. There's no word that it can go. So that's why braiding these two braids in the front is important. Now, I normally do that, but I was taking shortcuts today. Lesson learned, don't shortcut. Alrighty, wig cap back on now. Let's get this going, cause Caroline here waiting on me and I can't do that. I hate to keep my guests waiting. You know what I'm saying? That's just weird. All right, here comes a wet wig. Put her back on right in here. And it's gonna pull on my face, but we love a good snatched face look anyway. And I'm wiggling it so that it's comfortable and not pulling too much. And then here we go. So she should stay put now. A little bit better, a lot better. She feels so much more snug. All right, that feels a lot better. Seal the products into the hair and also just make the hair more dry. Okay, so now she's blow drying and she's using this. So I'm gonna use my Dyson dryer, okay? <laughs> I've used this thing one time before. How do you do it? There we go. Okay. This dryer feels just like the dryer, the hand dryers in the restaurants. Wow. Wow, it really is drying the oil. 
Ooh. I see what you do with Caroline. Yes. All these scrunchies. Hold on. Listen, I don't be doing scrunchies like that. I like to use clips. Let me stay true to who I am. Like, what is it going on right now? Okay, that's what I like to do. A good old clip. Okay, first look. Okay, what did she do? She took out a piece in the back. She took out a little bit of hair in the back. Like this, right? And then she, she put it in a bun. But, you know, I'm gonna just go ahead and clip it. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Why don't I just clip it like this? <laughs> I'm not really sure. Okay, let's just do it like that. T3 flat iron is ready going. Okay, what did she do? Now that I have the hair all sectioned off to make it easier to work with. Okay, now, <laughs> this is the brush that I, oh, Jesus, oh my God. This is so trifling, I need to wash this brush. This is the brush that I used to lay down my gel. I know I'm not the only one. If your hairbrush looks like this, come in, let me know. This is so bad. I'm gonna go wash this, and I'm gonna blow dry it by Dyson, and then we're gonna get, we're gonna, we're gonna flat iron. This is like live and direct, y'all. Hold on, I hold that. Wow, this thing dries fast. Okay, it is clean now. Okay, so what is she saying? Count on, where we at? I like to use the hard brush and kind of use that as a chaser to my flat iron. So like I'm using the brush to detangle the path of the flat iron, if that makes sense. So the flat iron and the brush go hand in hand. Like I'm using the brush to really just make the hair nice and sleek as the flat iron is. Okay, I'm using the wrong hand. I'm right handed, but in order to do this side, I have to change hands. So let me grab the hair. So she's doing a chase method. I'm not chasing it well. <laughs> isn't it well at all. Oh God, let me see, hold on, hold on. I'm not a left hander, so this feels so weird. Okay, wow, it is looking good though. Hold on, she going real fast. Obviously she fast forwarded the video because like, duh, right? Ooh, this does feel good. Let's do a few more together and then we gonna speed through. You know what I'm saying, so you can see. So you have to be here all day. And what do people do? People who do hair on, on YouTube, they put the hair they're working on up front, they take the hair they already finished and put it back. Okay, here we go. This is taking a lot of coordination. I'm just very unfamiliar with this right now. Okay, because I do not style my wigs on my head. I can do it like this. Yes! And then I grab it. Now I'm figuring things out. Ooh! Okay, because I normally style my wigs on the wig head. I do not ever style my wigs on my head. That is why this is a challenge for me today, okay? That's the problem right now. Wowzers, oh yeah. If this is what you normally do, comment and let me know. Ooh, all right. Always wanted the end of this hair to look nice and sleek. So I look forward to seeing that. Wow, wow. It already looks different than when I normally do my hair. Oh, it's getting hot up in here too. Okay, let me get a little, make a little more progress and then come back to you. Wow. Yo, the way this side of my hair is looking. <laughs> Hi. Like you can't, I can't even snap, it's so sick. Yo, not me figuring out the plug, not Kevin Line giving the kid the plug or whatever. This looks sad, God. Oh, girl. You ain't gonna catch me frizzy out here in these streets. Now the test is when the weather warms up and it's humid, we, we, then we really gonna see. But obviously in the house right now in the crib, it's looking real good or whatever. Let me go ahead and do this side. Ooh, but just look at this. I mean, I had a clip on it, but look at the stark contrast. It's the contrast for me. Hi. Oh my goodness. Now, I did take a quick break and eat. I ate lunch. I ate, 
wings. But wow, I've never, you know how when you first buy a wig and it comes mad straight cause it's been processed and all that and you wash it and then you can't ever get it back. That's how this wig was for the longest time. It is now back to the way it looked when I first bought it, okay? It just didn't have this bump right here. Oh my God, now I know what to do. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of, a little bit of this Garnier sleek shine something something and just get the flyaways. But now I know what to do. Oh my God. So the test is gonna be, how does this thing look day after day? The good thing is, and part of the reason why I love to wear wigs four by four to be exact, is because I take them off easily, put it back on easily. So that'll help this stay straight. It's not like I'm wearing this in the shower or wearing this to work out or wearing this to go to bed. The sleekness really should last. We're gonna see. I'll update you on the vlog. But this looks so good. Have a line. You better go ahead and get the girls together. This side is, I don't know, it's more poofy. I guess I need to fight on anymore. I don't care. I like it to look a little natural in a way. I don't need it to be completely slick. That doesn't bother me. Either way, this looks really good. Way better than this, this particular wig ever looks. So if you liked how this came out, if I did a good job, go ahead and comment and let me know. Obviously, check out Caroline's page. I just found her and she's doing a deck on thing and I appreciate it. The girls are taking notes, okay? And I'll link this here down for you as well if you wanna grab it from AliExpress. I love the look and I hope that you do too. I have two other videos I'm gonna link for you after this. Make sure you stick around and watch them. Subscribe, text me, follow on Instagram, all the things and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.